Today I have with me Cameron Kusher, who is a property analyst with RP Data. Cameron, welcome. Thanks, Tim. Where are we going to see our market if we're sitting here in December? Uh, what are we going to be discussing and what will have happened? What we're expecting is not a lot of capital growth this year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Adelaide probably hasn't performed as well as, uh, as markets like uh, Melbourne and Sydney, mm -hmm. but we're not expecting much in the way of capital growth this year. We've had a pretty good run over the last few years. Yep. Uh, but we, in saying that, we're not expecting that there's going to be massive price falls or that. So, a um, couple know, of percent. Yeah, yeah. You know, probably in line, or if not slightly below inflation. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, for buyers, for people looking to get into the market, that's actually not a bad thing because, in real terms, if mm. we get growth less than inflation, it actually means that property prices have become more affordable. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're not expecting a lot of growth. Um, as I said, I'd expect that. We'll see a little bit of increase in that sales activity. Mm. And towards the end of the year, if interest rates remain re reasonably stable, we start seeing some more of that rental growth we're expecting, um, investors and first home buyers might actually start returning to the market. And yes. Particularly considering that wages are growing at a faster rate than inflation. You know, the economy is not doing too badly mm -hmm. and people aren't in that bad a, a financial position. Yeah. Um, so you might start to see some, some return to activity and potential growth late in this year, but we probably think it's more likely to be 2012. So maybe we're just, uh, we're just in a holding pattern, certainly for the home, first home buyers, where they're just trying to gather together a little bit more equity to put into the property to get into the market again, I guess? Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, they're pretty low at the moment. I think the, the number of first home buyers is the lowest it's been since mm. 2004, which mm. is obviously coming out of the back of the last property boom. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. They might pick up a little bit, but I certainly don't expect to see a huge rush back in of, of first home buyers. Um, no, if, we, if we happen to get some interest rate cuts, that might help, but yeah. I, I don't see that happening. Mm. All right, well, uh, perhaps one last question. Any, uh, any tips on Adelaide's market in terms of where people should be looking or what segments um, before we go? As I said, the, the premium sector is probably going to be a little bit slower this year, as is the really affordable stuff. So I think properties priced four to six, seven hundred thousand dollars are, are probably where you're going to see the most activity. Yep. Um, it's, it's going to continue to be hampered by the fact that there's no first home buyers or investors very active in the market. So selling those properties is well, selling their properties before they move on to the next one is probably the, sure. going to be the hard thing, but that may be an opportunity. Maybe these people don't need to sell. They can hold it as an investment property. Yeah. And, um, you know, if people start to get their head around that a little bit better, maybe, uh, maybe that will improve conditions. Yeah. Um, as we always say, close to public transport, close to the city, um, you know, unique properties. Yes. Um, that's, they're that's the sort the, of things you're looking stuff. for, yeah. um, and, and that's probably going to give you the best chance of price growth, either A, in the short term or B, in the longer term anyway.